Robin and Max, we learned just how emaciated these children were and the depths of the abuse. We warn you, some of these images depict child abuse. The first video we're, sh we're going to show you is from a neighbor's doorbell camera. Hey, how is this? Wondering if you could do two favors. Well, what are they? August 30th of last year, one of the children living in the Frankie Hillebrand home in Ivins walks to a neighbor to ask for help. Taking me to the nearest police station. Well, actually, just one fine. What's going on? The neighbors realize something is the matter. We need the police here now. Yeah, no As EMTs treat the boy, officers go to the Frankie Hillebrand house. Here's police pulling Hillebrand out of the doorway so they can begin a search. You come on, buddy. I, I'm a police officer. <laughs> In one clip, an officer brings a child a box of pizza and a drink. Two minutes pass before the child opens the lid and begins eating. Law enforcement also provided these photos showing scarring and duct tape around a child's ankles and feet. Documents note bandages and wounds. Police blurred the children's faces and redacted much of what they said to officers. When this officer asked the child who tied ropes on him, we don't hear the answer, but we do hear the officer's follow-up question. What's the help you want? We're just here to talk to you about kind of a few things involving your kids. Frankie and Hildebrand were near silent when detectives questioned them. I'll wait till I have a lawyer. So I trust my attorney. He said, don't say anything. Officers arrest the women later that night. All right, I'm going to have you stand up, all right? I just don't want to. It's going to be two counts, second degree felony of child abuse or neglect, okay? Law enforcement also provided a journal from Frankie that discusses the abuse and neglect, including whipping a child with a belt. There's also religious references. You can learn more about those journals on fox13now.com. Both Frankie and Hildebrand are serving four prison terms, each carrying one to 15 years in prison. We expect to learn any day whether the Board of Pardons and Parole might first consider them for parole. For now, in the studio, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.